So this next set of uh, exercises, in this video I'll be covering some basic toe and toe, ankle, finger and wrist stretches. And the idea in all of these poses is to learn how to activate either the toes or the fingers depending on whether you're stretching the ankles or the wrists. And the first action is a kneeling pose. And here while sitting upright, feel your toes pressing the floor and simply press the top of the toes into the floor so all of your toes feel active and then relax. So if I'm like this, is my, my toes actually pressing, the toenails pressing down into the floor. What you can do, rather than just pressing down and relaxing, try to smoothly press down. And what I feel actually is the out, outer left toes, the outer toes on my left foot, don't press down with even pressure. So what you could do, sorry my feet are a little bit dirty, um, so when you're pressing your toes down, you may find that it helps to change the position of your foot. So for this one, I'm going to try moving my heel slightly inwards to see if that gives me, gives the tendons or whatever in my foot better position to make it easier to activate my toes and relax. Press the toes down if you like, lengthen the spine and then relax. Now, if you can't even kneel with your bum on your heels, this is going to be a problem. And I had one guy and I, I can't remember if I was ever this tight. I know I couldn't get my butt to the floor between my heels, but I had one friend whose ankles when he sat on them were like this, and I don't think he could comfortably sit on his heels. So what would you do in that case? My suggestion, so if you've got tight ankles, tight knees, my suggestion, start with your weight forward on your hands, and then from there, slowly shift your weight back, slowly. As you shift your weight back, press your toes into the floor, Stop when you had enough, and then go back forward again. Rest. So rest with your weight on your hands. Then slowly go back. Press your toes down. Start to gradually press your toes down. See if you can go back a bit further, and then go forward and relax. And just repeat that. Um, you'll probably have to repeat it over the course of a few days, so that as you go back, you're gradually getting more comfortable. And then when you go forward, see if you can use leg pressure. If, um, you might have to change the area of your torso, the angle of your torso, like here. If I try and lift up, this heavier because more of my weight is behind my knee, so this is more difficult. So the more I lean forward, the easier it is to lift up. So that could be another trick to to slowly get your butt on your heels. Keep your torso horizontal initially, so this is the easier variation. Gently press the toes down, then come forward. Then as you get better and better, gently come back onto your heels, press your toes down and then sit more upright. So this is adding more weight to my ankles. See how my ankles are pressing down, keeping my toes active, and then from here you could lift the chest, and then, oh, that's enough. Bend forward, hands on the floor, and come forward. And then again, until you're comfortable, you may have to repeat this over the course of a few weeks, hopefully not more than a few months. And then from here, once you're used to it, you can work at holding for, for a little bit, and what, rather than just sitting there and holding, what you can do is press your toes down, lengthen your spine, open your chest, and then relax. Relax your spine, relax your toes. Press your toes down, lengthen your spine, smile if you like, and then relax. So once you're used to sitting back, pressing your toes down from here, the next stage is to lean back. And if you, you could do this against the wall if you're not comfortable, so at least you can get your head against the wall. Um, but it should be relatively easy to get your hands back on the floor. If not, put them on a chair or yoga blocks. But from here, use your arms to support the weight of your body. Press your toes down, relax, press your toes down, and then slowly lift the knees. Just a little bit. Knees down, toes relax. Press the toes down. If you like, lengthen the spine. Slowly lift the knees, and each time you can lift a little bit higher. If it hurts, don't do it. Lower the knees and then relax. And then press the toes down, lengthen the spine, lift the knees, and if you like, you can gradually work at lifting your knees higher as you feel comfortable. So don't just do it, just, oh, I wanna get my knees up. Just lift your knees gradually higher while staying within the comfortable zone of your body. And then from there, sit up. The next exercise, you could lean forward, get all your knee, weight on your knees, tuck your toes under, and then sit back. So I'm gonna sit with my knees slightly wider, but the inside edges of my feet are touching, my toes are tucked under, my butt is on my heels. 
So from the back, oops, this is what it looks like. My heels are coming apart. If you wanted to, I guess you could bring the heels together, but with my heels apart, that allows the front of my foot to stay, most of the front of my foot to stay in contact with the floor. Now from there, guess what you do? You press the toes down. This is, can be quite excruciating. And so the actual action of pressing the toes down and relaxing can make it a little bit more interesting. It takes your mind off of the discomfort. So press the toes down, try and press down evenly. All toes press down the same. Lengthen your spine and then relax. Press your toes down, lengthen your spine, relax. If you like, you can interlace the fingers. Press the toes, toes down, lengthen your spine. Press your arms up, lengthen, relax, and change the interlock of your fingers. Press the toes down, lengthen your spine, and relax. Now, if you wanted to increase the toe stretch, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you might, you could try walking your knees forward a little bit. So even more excruciating. Press the toes down, lengthen the spine, reach your arms up, relax, and go forward a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's the limit. Press the toes down, and slowly, not just suddenly, slowly press your toes down, lengthen, reach up, and relax. And then come forward and rest your toes.